One day I'll catch a break. Do what must be done. It's still moving. Hush your fussing. Nine Fingers had this one made especially. Hello, Marvel. We'll barely slow it down. But the stories... Stories. Tall tales and big names, lad. Don't let them fool you. Elminster the Archmage. Drist, the Drow Exile. Heroes have power, I, But not half so much as we do. A little coin into the right purse. A soft word in the right ear. It's not glory that spins these planes, lad. It's gold. See? No. Moradin's cracked clay. There is no gold in here! <sighs> if there is one thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath... <sighs> it is those who are tricksome with the truth. And turnips. But you are no turnip. Let that be of comfort in your final moments. <laughs> Meet Minsk. He still seems very much himself to me. You. Stone Lord. Ha. Huh. Better to call yourself Stonehead. Your false face does not fool my eyes. I will cut until you look like the monster you truly are! Somehow, you are making even less sense than usual. Perhaps I can explain. The Stone Lord sees through your lies, shapeshifter! Count yourself lucky he cannot stay. <laughs> Nine fingers set a poor trap, little banker. Let the Absolute's faithful show you how it is done. Now come, Stone Lord. We have the gold. And the Absolute has need of it elsewhere. As you say, Jaira. Shape changers! Enough! Let us deal with these cultists, then find out where they are nesting. All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood-stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your lord's work. Our lady. We serve only the absolute. Oh, silly me. We enter him are so long past our own godly roots, I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend, too? <coughs> 
Lieutenant. Enough. You will show the Stone Lord proper respect. And you will return to the Guild Hall and do as we have paid you to. Of course. I only thought. Wait. Flop all you wish, little fish. But Minsk has caught you. On that note, good luck. The job will be done by the time you get to the Guild Hall. Against the darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage, flaring brighter every moment. Killed. He won't stay down for long. Tell your Eurylithi to protect him from the Elder Brain's influence. Quickly! No. This one will not aid our cause. Get rid of him. Don't be foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. No, I will not be coerced into protecting him. You do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. The Mind Flare pours poison in your ear, I think. Tell it I will tear the prism from your grasp and throw it into the deepest lava pit I can find. Long after our bones are dust and ash, the walls of its prison will still be burning. Now help my friend! She bluffs. Surely she would not risk the fate of all for one simple life. Fine. Have it your way. His mind unfolds beneath yours. A still lake pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by, battles fought and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper, as a familiar face crystallizes before you. Jahira... You killed her! You are being dramatic. The instant's hesitation is enough. With a sensation of terrible rending, something vast and nameless falls away from his mind. There. It is done. Jahira? I do not understand. Good. That means you're back to your old ways. We have a lot to discuss. But first... You have someone to thank. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once more. More memories, sensations, but passing too quickly for you to track. In the same breath, you share everything that happened to you. The Nautiloid, the Absolute, the Chosen of the Dead Three. You... You saved Minsk. While he danced like a Mind Flayer's meat puppet. Why? A level head and a kind heart. It is well that Boo kept me from crushing either. I would be rid of this parasite. Minsk takes orders from only one tiny beast. And he is much cuter than any mind maggot. He is... Uh, he is... Uh, where is he? I am ready. 
ready to rest my weary head. <laughs> Have to keep going. Where are you? Sweet, do I not know you are well? My friend, from our brief sharing of skulls, I know you have faced many strange beings, but none like this. Whatever happens, show no fear and stay your hand. Trust in Minsk. Minsk finds that the less thinking he does, the easier the trusting comes. Wait! You gaze into Minsk's soul and see his foul crimes. You smell the stench of evil upon him, pointy claws primed, ready to scratch out his eyes. I am sorry, my friend. I am at the mercy of your faultless justice. Now, if you must burrow through my blackened heart, I am ready. No? You are certain? Oh, such boundless compassion. You are all heart, and whiskers, and cute little nose. Uh, you are right, of course. There is still much evil for Boo and Mince to stamp out. But we need not fight it alone. I have a new face to show you. But it is not a villainous one for the clawing, understand? You, this is Boo. And Boo, meet you? No, it is a hamster. A miniature giant space hamster. Fear not, you will learn the difference in time. Those villains locked Boo away lest his righteous gaze cause their tadpole to flee in terror. Now we are together again. All will be exactly as... Boo, why do you use such language? Ah, once more, my hamster proves himself my greater half and makes the path clear when my mind is fuzzier than his tiny bottom. He says we will join with you and cleanse Baldur's Gate of Evil together. You have a great many companions already. There is no room for little Boo or slightly larger Minsk. Boo and I are most adept in the doing of things, but as you wish. To camp then! For his heroics here today, Boo has earned the most vigorous of backscratchings. <laughs> <laughs> 